Hey guys, and welcome to a brand new episode of Project Genome. This is a action MMORPG game developed and published by Neuron Haze. Release date was October 12th, 2016, and we are currently going to be continuing where we left off. Now, we are still looking for the lost fashion fasteners. We need one more screw collected from the floors to be able to finish this one off. And it says it's somewhere in this region, so we must have missed it as we ran through it the very first time. But something you guys might want to know about if you're watching the series is we're going to be doing some giveaways over the next week or two weeks. I have about 12 Steam codes to give away for this game to upgrade your game from a regular account to a bronzed account. You'll get a whole slew of really cool things, including uh, upgraded to your backpack slots, as well as uh, some really, really cool stuff. I'll go ahead and put that down in the details below. For you guys to win it, you guys need to leave comments down below, and every day I will be looking through those comments comments, seeing uh, the names, putting them into a hat, and drawing a winner. Remember, you do still need the actual game itself, but this will upgrade your account from a regular account to a bronze one for free. So leave those comments down below. You can just put your name, you can put down, uh, you know, you like the videos, whatever you want to put down will enter you in there, and then it's going to be a random drawing, guys. So all of you have the same amount of luck, uh, and I wish you guys the best. I hope each and every one of you who wants one uh, gets one. And this is where the last crew was, so let's go ahead and pick that up. Uh, could you please bring them to me? Report, uh, do, 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 where are you at? I think uh, I think he was right over here, was he? Hmm. Lost fashion. Take the screws back to Lancer. Lancer, right here. This is where he is. Let's turn those in. It's my breakfast box. Man, you saved me. You have no idea how hungry I am. I'm freaking starving here. This is another quest that we picked up, not the one we're doing right now, but this one you had to go to the bar, pick up the lunchbox off of the counter, and then pay the bartender 100 um, credits so that he would tell you who they go to so that then you could come back over here and turn it in. And you get 599 or 591 experience points and 118 credits. So you make your money back plus an extra 18 credits. Now, I don't know if you actually had to have the guy you know, look at it and pay the credits. You might have been able to just bring it straight back to him and save you that 100 credits. Uh, but that's what we did. So let's say Bon Appetit. And he got that, and we got a rifle. Let's see, uh, don't scare me like that, okay, man? You almost made me lose both uh, out of my pants and my own stuff, too. So, yeah, okay, that's a little graphic. So, we got 168 experience, 34 credits, and we got a new shoulder pad. Tactics 2 is what this requires. So, we're going to have to go into our inventory and see if we can put a point into that so we can use this piece of weapon or piece of armor that we haven't had before. Sorry, I didn't mean to. So we got that quest done. Let's go into our inventory real quick. We'll go over to our third slot, second slot. There we go, second slot. And we'll go down to armor. Now, I do believe, what was the armor again? Let's look at it real quick. Let's go over to armor. It is a Tactics 2, Tactics 2. Let's see if we can remember that when we go in there. Tactics 2. So, Assault Mastery, Command Mastery, Hmm, there we go. Tactics to you, right? Unavailable. We need one point to be able to put that in there. Don't we have one point? Didn't we just level? We got level four and we were level two a minute ago, so we should have a point, but it's not letting us do it for some reason. I wonder why. Do we have to put a point into tactics one? That's already known. Hmm. These are all unavailable. What about weapon skills? Can we put more points into weapon skills? No, so we didn't we didn't get a point for leveling? Really? That's unfortunate. I thought we would get a point every level, but maybe we don't. So we're just going to have to hang on to those. As you can see, we also have the new weapon, but we're not able to use that one without Assault Rifle 3. Oh, that sucks so bad. Why can't we use Assault Rifles? This is, uh, where's my Assault Rifle? There we go. Yeah, it says unavailable. Bonus. Uh, yeah, we're going to have to wait, I guess. Dang it. That really does suck. Okay, let's take a look at some of our other quests here that we do have. We'll level up a little bit more, and hopefully that will fix our, you know, level requirements on the next one. Let's see. Uh, Harbinger. Mm, bring the notice to Diego's commission. Show on map. Where are you, my friend? Uh, Rush act. A walk. Next. 
Next is the one we're looking for, so we need to go down to the SSA department. Yeah, that's where we're gonna go. Let's go check him out. Let's run back a little bit. A lot and a lot of areas on this game. If you didn't, miss, if you missed the last episode, that was pretty much us learning the area. We went through almost every section except for one. We have one more to check out. Actually, what is over here? There's something wrong with this vent. Can we do something with it? Right here is a question mark. Fire safe pipe. Let's take a look at this real quick. Vent problems. It looks like some idiot has decided to poison half the arc, including me. I won't leave it like that, but I'll wait and settle his hash. Okay, so we got that done at least. And we got Morris over here. What are you doing? I just thought I'd drop by. So nothing to do there. Although it does look like we're doing something here. You can see the little bar adding up right there. I'm going to wait until it finishes and see if something happens there. But I don't think anything will. Nope, it disappeared. No, no, it's still there. Oh, man. Okay, let's go back. Let's let that bar go up. I thought it disappeared, but it didn't. Again, there are a few places you need to be level 5 before you can get in there. And we're only level 4. So, yeah, we got a little ways to go before, before we finally get there. Now, uh, this game is really, really cool. But the combat is the part that I enjoy the most. And we haven't got to do a lot of that since the very first level. But I have no doubt, once you get a few levels in here doing some quests, again, they're trying to kind of ease you into it. Try to let you learn the area without giving you too much. There we go. What? Who are you? Oh, so you've come to crush me. You had nothing to do with it. But no, you need to get involved. You can't prove crap. They will all die. So we're going to get a weapon out of this. 72 out of 180 damage that's really nice you need level five and level three to pistol uh i have to report to gore on you well i'll deal with you myself i'm ready to turn a blind eye for just 100 credits i won't bother you so let's see i'll have to report to gore on you oh man yeah he's uh, he's going down so yeah we gotta go find gore and turn him in we have to find that other guy anyways for a few other reasons like a warehouse and judging by the traces on the floor, it was actively used not so long ago. Warning, high concentration can be fatal. <laughs> yeah, I imagine. Explosive little things. All right, let's keep going over here. This is where we needed to go anyways. And turn that item in, I believe. Let's see, what about down here? This is it, right? Yeah, yeah, right on the other side. Where are you at, my friend? Uh, yeah, he's over here. He's, what, one of the doctors? Advertising space. Let's go ahead and put that on. We did get a quest for some posters we have to throw around in different parts of the map. There we go. Uh, I think you're on the other side of that glass. Let's see. Uh, we've already talked to him before. There we go, Marie. Can we move? Can we, can we not see her while we talk? We can't zoom out? Oh, is this one for me? I don't know what to say. From Arthur? Well, wait, it's that engineer from the tech unit. What a gentleman. Please give him this ribbon. I'm sure he'll understand. I'll tell him straight away, don't get me involved. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do that. 434 experience, 87 credits, and a new pair of boots. But we can't wear those without sabotage too, so we'll have to hold on to those for now. We need to go back and turn those into him. Is there anything else on the map we need to do over here? Let's look at the map real quick. Let's see, where is the map? How do we get to show on map? Hmm. Okay, so rush act over there. So there's nothing left over here except for maybe some places to throw down the uh, the advertisement. And we can take a look at that real quick. Just kind of gloss over the, the little areas on the map, uh, you know, as you run through the buildings. See if anything pops up. You do kind of have to be somewhat close to it. I would say within, uh, you know, a meter or two of the wall is probably fine you can see as we got closer to these guys it did pop up let's come over here we'll do our speed run nope nothing there we got one already let's see any more down this way laura still doesn't want to talk to us right no nope, she has nothing to say to us she's uh, in her own little world she uh, clearly has something going on which we may find out about in the future but for now we are going to be left out in the dark so let's go over here we're going to take a left and I know where the guy is. I just wanted to make sure there was nothing else over there. That way we don't have to keep running back and forth. But that is going to be something you're going to have to get used to as you play a game like this. There is going to be a lot of back and forth in areas that you've already been to. 
Good God, it's the ribbon she wore in her hair when we first met. Man, she gave it to me. You have no idea how happy I am right now. Thank you. And we get 434 experience, 87 credits, and a pair of boots, Sabotage 2. I'm glad I could help. Nice, nice, guys. We've gotten a new quest there. Spare parts, darn. Where have the spare parts got to go? It really makes me angry. Not only do the raiders allow themselves to steal our vehicles, so they still try to maintain it at our expense. What are Gore and the other fighters doing? Man, I need to fix this baby before my shift ends at all costs. And I can't physically do it without the spare parts. But best to uh, bust the raiders... I am sure that is their uh, handiwork. Well, we can't do it. Level 15, I was looking at that over there on the side. Unfortunately, we can't do that one. 2,275 experience points, 758 credits. We get a new rifle. That's a really, really nice rifle. Uh, sorry, I don't think I'm interested. We'll come back later when we have the skill to do that. Let's go ahead and take a look at one more of our quests. We're trying to finish up as many quests as we can because we've been holding on to a few of them here. Looking for anything useful on the medical. I found a stack of nothing. notification papers. Bring the notice to Diego. Uh, a wonk. Okay, so we need to come over here to... What is that? That was the, the department where they sell stuff, I think, right? Where they sell the mechs is in that area. So let's head down that way and see if he will give us something decent for our hard work there. Of course, any levels is going to be a boon to us. We do do a little bit more damage advertising space. There we go. Finding them just as we run through. Clearly, they want them in areas that people are going to, you know, go through. And uh, did it put anything down? It didn't actually put down a poster or anything. So that's kind of unfortunate. I would love to see a little poster there so we know the places we've already hit and which ones we didn't. Actually, I don't think we went down here last time. We missed the entire bottom floor, guys. Huh. All right. Please don't touch anything here. I don't really intend to do it, but yeah, we, we definitely won't. Crumpled note. They woke me up just recently. Administered first aid, gave me equipment, and let me go. I don't know what to do. What do I do in this new world? Kill monsters or just die? Help me, anybody. <laughs> okay, well, that uh, that's probably pretty apt. You know, they... He woke up, and he woke up having to fight for his life, but it's kind of like, what do you do now? You know, like, what's what's going to be your job? The world is already pretty much, uh, you know, created. Everybody seems to have a purpose, and if you don't know what to do, what on earth are you doing? Oh, he's talking to somebody. Look at that. He's doing uh, Skyping. My husband will be back soon. I think I should go. <laughs> okay, well, I wasn't flirting with you, but yeah. Boxes with papers. All right, book. The main character was young and simple-minded, and also he was poor and anxious, and the yellow walls of his cabin were pressing down on him and constantly reminding, reminded him about the misery of his existence. He decided he could change his life for the best. He decided to rob an old woman, hoping she would not resist, given her age. Well, he went and did it. Uh, okay, that's uh, interesting. Purchase sale registration? I haven't decided yet medical report the rate of those dying upon unfreezing is 30 percent at this pace we will lack people with unique skills pushing down this percentage is impossible an error in the system was made at the freezing stage oh that sucks so we were just lucky to survive that apparently all right incoming reports of missing underwear yeah that's uh it's kind of weird somebody's doing some panty raids apparently and we gotta We've got to stop it, guys. Unlocking cryo unit denied. All right, let's see. What about you, Ron? Look, if you have some time, could you look for some spare parts for me? That's another person looking for spare parts. I can't even give you credits as a thank you. Well, he can, and he will. 2,637 experience points, 300 credits. Unfortunately, my little friend, I am not high enough level to help you out. You want the same thing, level 15 requirement. Look, I finally managed to fist... Uh, finish the universal damage modifier it can add up to 15 percent to the basic characteristics of weapons in combat nice huh i have tested this de this device in the virtual environment and i must say the effect is very impressive it's time to move on to full-scale test on different opponents will you become my main tester uh, i would love to and you get an upgraded warg rifle pretty nice but not going to be able to help you out just yet, my friend. Level 15. Looking forward to it. Lots of quests over here. Sorry. Never mind. Requires level 15. So we're not going to be able to do whatever that is scanning right there. We'll come back to that at a later date. Let's uh, make sure we didn't miss anything in this little corner. Nope. Nothing over here. 
Let's look over here. Get too far into this little area. Wow, look at all the little areas to look at. Many people express dissatisfaction with the overbearing strictness of our new laws. We are all used to living in a democratic society, but there is no democracy on the Ark. I think we need to launch a petition. It could make the captain reconsider a thing or two. Yeah, they definitely should have a democracy over here, otherwise things could get out of hand if you get the wrong person in there. Initially, the security team on the Ark was formed on the captain's orders for that purpose. They started to unfree soldiers and law enforcement officers. Only after they took an oath and received equipment they begun began to unfreeze civilians so yeah the military was in charge right off the bat about general code creation after landing on avalon an urgent unfreezing of hundreds of people the captain made a decision to create a list of general rules only thanks to the timely establishment of judicial bodies the colony did not plunge into chaos and on anarchy Uh, that actually looks like the microwave they have around the rest of the place. If you want to say something, speak clearly and keep to the point. Nothing important. We could gaze out there with you, my friend. Somebody uh, sees something beautiful out there. I haven't been able to see it myself. Well, it's not like it's not beautiful, but I mean, that's just like a wreck of what your ship used to be. Let's see. Do you have anything to say? You do not. You have nothing to say. Security Chief Gore. So, Unit C, you say, and you've seen diggers there? Holes in the walls? What is wrong with you all? Has Lancer put you up to this? There are a couple of beetles down there. Big deal. Doesn't mean you have to put on alert the whole SSA, all right? That's enough. Since you've gotten nothing better to do, you're going to go back down to the loading dock and expect the place yourself. Report directly to me. So, we get both of these items right here, or do we have to pick one? Uh, we might get both. Let's see what happens. Uh, crap, I should have kept my mouth shut. Oh no, I have my own problems to deal with. So let's say, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll go with it. Alright, so let's talk to him again. Thank you, we'll check everything. Such crimes are punishable by forced memory change. If everything's confirmed, he won't like what'll happen to him. Ooh, okay, that's, that's pretty rough. Level 5, I might have uh, said we should have worked it out ourselves. But uh, reporting to this guy might be the better method. I don't know. 591 experience points, 34 credits, and a upgraded Marauder pistol, which we can't use until level 5. Report on the prisoner. There we go. Let's see. Soldier report. Make it short. I've got nothing to report. Level 5 to be able to look at the planet. I think this is probably where you get to go out there and do combat missions by looking at that level 15. What about you? All right, so yeah, we need one more level, and we're pretty close to it, actually. So we just need to do a couple more quests, and we'll get there. Let's take a look around a little bit. Sally, have you ever heard? Have you ever tried fried frogs or trogs? I should say. No, I don't even know what a trog is. Maybe a trog a troglodyte, but uh, no, no, no trogs here. What do we got? It's good this waste is not <laughs> I would say so, since there's people over here working right now. It'd be a bad, bad idea. No advertisement in this area? All right. Quartermaster Diego. Hey, how's it going? Although, why am I why am I even asking? Clearly, you have been bled dry on the Harbinger. <laughs> all right. Don't scowl. I was just kidding. That's all. By the way, I don't remember you. Are you one of the rookies? Name's Diego. Hey, where'd you get this blade? No offense, but it doesn't really go with those pants. Let me change it for you for a proper gun for you. Okay, so we're going to get something out of this. Uh, 293 experience, 73 credits, a new... All right, we're going to get the old Spectre pistol. Um, and the Raider hood. If you insist, no way. I like it a lot. Let's see. Uh, where did you get this blade? What blade is he talking about? I need to think. Well, let's, let's think about it first. Let's go with next. Um, darn it. I completely forgot about that. Thank you. 434 experience points, 87 credits, and we get an upgraded Marauder pistol. Don't forget about it next time. I think I'll drop by later. So, yeah, don't forget about it next time, my friend. Let's take a look at what blade he's talking about. I hope he's not talking about this one, Encrypt Marauder Pistol. That's my best one that I have. Let's take a look at this one. Actually, that one is a lot better. Of course, it requires pistol level 3. Let's see, can we upgrade that yet? Can we do a pistol level 3? No, we can't. Dang it, what is taking so long for us to get a... We're at level 5 now? 
How can we not have any experience points? There has to be something wrong there. That, I mean, you should be able to get experience points for every level. We were off of level 1 and off of level 2. Hmm. That is unfortunate. Because we're not going to be able to use any of our equipment until then. Alright, let's go ahead and see what he changes our stuff into. If you insist. What did he take? You received a Marauder Pistol for that. Didn't seem like we lost anything though, right? Yeah, it didn't seem like we lost anything. Plasma Cutter is still there. We still can't wear these. These are not as good. And these are actually better, but unfortunately we don't have Sabotage 2 because we can't upgrade anything. Uh, that sucks. Okay, let's talk to him and see what he has. One of Gore's assistants told me that you managed to save the Ark from the Beetle invasion, but as it turned out, it was only one of our problems. Not so long ago, we sent a reconnaissance unit into one of the caves under the Harbinger, and today we received an emergency beacon alarm from, from them. At the moment, Gore can send a squad, can't send a squad, to check the situation, so I ask you to go there and see what happened. And we get a rare Lone Ranger Bracer. Level 13 requirements, 7 tactics. So this one is a level 15 quest. We're not going to be able to do that one right now. We'll have to come back. Let's see. Yeah, that's all he has to say right there. Let's go in there and see what about his friend. I need a password. All right. All right. I get it. You guys don't want me to have any of the good loots. What do we got going on over here? Anything? Something? Nothing? No, nothing's going on over here. What about way over here? Hmm. Uh, did something pop up there? Nope, nothing popped up there. Hmm, over here in the back alleys where nobody wants to go looking. That's where you might find some pretty good stuff. Still nothing there. Let's see, what do you have over here, my friends? Nope, nothing there either. Huh. Let's see, nope, nothing there. <laughs> it doesn't seem like there's anything down here yet. Of course, they could be adding something down here as we get more quests. We might have to come down here and uh, meet somebody, or it could be something that they're going to add to the game later. You got to remember, this is a game that will constantly be improved, as all MMOs always are. You know, you're going to have updates, you're going to have big expansions, and as they do those things, some of these sections that maybe never had any reason for you to go to them now do. So just kind of uh, keep an eye out for different areas. Now, let's see what kind of quests do we have that we can finish. Hmm. Write in your name in the contract. Recommend at level 14. So we're not going to do that one just yet. We can't even get out there yet. A law abiding says answer the incoming call. Show on map. Let's see. Show on map. Personalized tool. Next. A walk. Well, we could definitely come over here to the side and do these two. And a personalized tool. We can go over there and at least check to see if we can turn that in. Yeah, let's let's head over to the uh, the right. Where am I? Did I keep walking while I was in there? Hmm. Let's go up this way, and then we're gonna go to the left. Yeah, we're gonna go to the left and go down. This is some place that we've managed to look around everywhere here, but we didn't go down this way and look around everywhere there. That is uh, something that we need to do. Let's look at map real quick again. Uh, yeah, it's down this way. Let's come back. There's still a few more little quests, such as putting those advertisements down. That one doesn't show up on the map, though. I think because we haven't actually finished it. Once you finish it, it may show you where to turn it in. I think is uh, pretty much all it's going to do for you. Ammo. Yeah, let's go ahead and refill ammo, even though I don't think we really need it. What do we got down here? I do love this little thing right here. This is, uh, you know, advertising space. So can we put that there? Yeah, let's go ahead and put down advertising. <laughs> right here where construction is uh, being done. So everybody will see it. How do we get over there? Down maybe? Or is it straight into here? Yeah, straight into here. There we go. Merchant uh, Jammy. Jammy's got the best wares. I'll drop by later. Thank you though. Crafting terminal. Huh. What can we do with the crafting terminal? Can we, uh, I guess we don't, oh, you know what? We don't have the skill to do it yet. That is something I think you can upgrade. You can take items apart. You can put items together. Look, here's my precious. 
don't lose your thing. So we got 220 experience points, 73 credits, and a upgraded uh, Cerberus rifle. Cerberus, again, leads me to believe like Mass Effect kind of thing. I do like it. Uh, we can't use it though. Assault Rifle 3. So we'll take that, my friend. What about you? You have anything else? What's wrong with the people? I said I had the day off. How can I help you? Uh, I think I'll wait. Yeah, I think I'll wait on that one, my friend. You are a little grouchy. So we'll look around in here. This is some place that we haven't really gone through before. When buying 100 rolls chewed fabric, you get a new Trident Reverberator completely free. Attempting offer. Well, I don't think I have enough money to buy 100, but it's good to know if you buy in quantity, you get something nice from it. Oh, <laughs> did I get uh, did I get it? I think I need level 15 before that works. Ooh, it's a shop. Look at this. How much? Oh, wow. Look at the prices. 7,000, 5,000. You can see instantly if it's better than what you have equipped right now. I actually don't have anything for my headgear yet. There are a few quests for it, but at the moment, remember the requirements. The requirements are going to be a killer. Uh, for the moment until we level up a little bit and start getting some better stuff trading terminal Does it show you what the price is on ours? Oh Look at that. That's not too bad 5,000 or is that how much money I have? I think that's how much money I have No, no, I only have a thousand. I only have a thousand over there Hmm Doesn't even show what it's worth because they're, they're not all worth that How do you sell anyways? Hmm. We'll, have to, we'll have to play around with that at a later date. I don't really want to sell anything right now. There are a few pieces, but as I said before, I think you're going to be able to actually take things apart, disassemble them, and get their components, and I think that might be a better use. What brings you to Old Jack? Yes, I'm just having a walk. Yeah, we're just looking around for now, but I bet you Old Jack is going to be used for something. And we didn't go downstairs, did we? So let's do that real quick. Make sure we don't miss any guns. Guns, guns, guns. This is what I want. This is what I need. Sniper rifle equipped with a computerized precision complex that allows firing even in complete darkness. Well, you can always fire in complete darkness. You just won't hit anything. Ammo boxes. Okay, so we can always come back down here to get free ammo. Doesn't seem like ammo is going to be a big thing. You know, guns is what you're going to be upgrading. You're going to need to be able to use boosters for your shields and your health. It seems like that's going to be a thing. They've kind of already mentioned those. They haven't shown us any of them, actually, that we can take with us. But they're on little tables here and there. All right, let's uh, make sure we, we check everything in both sides of this. Anybody to talk to over here? No? What's up, dudes? What's up, huh? Did you guys uh, check out the new mission on the little board? Yeah, I just killed all... No, I'm just kidding, guys. <laughs> just kind of chill over there and uh, talk to some of the NPCs. What about you guys? Yeah, my favorite color is purple, too. Hey, you have a nice helmet now. Guys, guys, what's going on? You guys don't want to include me in the conversation. You just want to have your own little personal thing going on. Ooh, yes. Yeah, nice. Seems like someone's died in these boats. But we'll make some good use of them. I hope we will. Can we actually wear them? Uh, energy plus 13. Is that better? I don't know. But it seems like it should be because it's in green. So let's go ahead and put those boots on and we'll wear them. A little bit better uh, in, in the long run, I hope. Ooh, yes. What do you got? Hello, I'm Letty. Uh, Letty Fugo, welcome to my alternative medicine shop. Although, to be honest, I have nothing to show you right now. Things are not going that well, you know. The problem is, I don't have reliable suppliers. By the way, what if I say you may have a great chance to earn some money? I really need some ingredients. So we can get 443 experience points, 148 credits, and Raider Gloves. Uh, can't really see if they're better, but tactics too, so we can't wear them yet. Sounds good. What exactly do we have to do? Sorry, but I'm very busy at the moment. Now we'll do that. Uh, buttercup collection. <laughs> okay, so I don't know what buttercups are. I'm guessing they're flowers. They kind of sound like they are. And they're ingredients to make, uh, you know, potions and, and medicines. So something we need anyways. <laughs> yeah, yeah, guys, don't steal stuff in front of people who have guns. That's, uh, you know, this guy's actually pretty smart. How many games do you just run around just stealing crap from people and nobody ever calls you on it? But, you know, Zelda actually started doing that, too, where if you, like, start busting jars in front of the guards, they get all mad at you. Oh, lame moth. Hmm. Why does that remind me of maybe a strip club that clearly is not in the game just yet? <laughs> yeah, I bet. 
That uh, does seem like a thing. Gonna be some naked ladies in there, guys. Maybe I'm some naked guys, you. too. Who knows? I'm watching you. Nope, still can't use the holographic little areas, but I like the fact that they're all over the place. So when they do get integrated into the game, it should be easier for brand new players to kind of get a feel of where things are. Although I like running around just checking things out. So let's see, a power block. I wonder what can be assembled out of all of this. Well, we got a new quest. We'll probably find out here. Glider, can't do anything with that. Another glider. Let's look over here. Make sure there's nothing hiding in these little corners. I uh, can't wait to get... Oh, I am level 5. Level 5. Get... Oh, okay. We, we zoned. I didn't know there was a zone here. Uh, I was waiting to get to level 5 so that we could go off and do some missions and actually get outside of the arc and level up a little bit. Maybe even get some better armor and... Uh, yeah, just see some combat because we've been in here for a little while now again i don't mind that but i know some of you out there are probably hunkering down for a little bit more action uh checking out some new weapons that we might be able to uh try out i do have a pretty good handgun that we've only fired i think a handful of times so yeah it does take its toll if you stay in for too long but the beauty thing about games like this is you can go out you can fight you can do that for a few hours, and then when you get tired of fighting, if you just need a little break from it, because it is kind of a constant action high for you, when you come back in, there's stuff for you to do as well. So that is always a good thing. And it seems like we are outside right now. Ooh, this is kind of cool. It does require a moment for our shields to recharge when you zone. I'm not quite sure on the reason behind that, but these beetles are really bugging me. Why are the SSA doing nothing about it? They only start to care when these beetles eat someone. We can't just let them ramble around here. 326 experience, 109 credits, and a new pair of upgraded discipline boots. Level 5 requirement and level 3 assault to be able to wear those. I can help with that. We'll do that. Insecticide. Yeah, we need to go kill some insects, guys. Kill them dead. Get some... Oh, look at that. Oh, so pretty. Let's uh, hit our Q button. Oh, look at that. Raider Bracers. Nice. Let's check those out. Can we use them? I hope so. Are these the new items? Yeah, Rare Raider Bracers. Oh, level 7 requirement. 4 to Tactics. Still cannot use those. And still can't do anything in here yet. Hmm. Oh, wow. He's back again. Let's pull out our gun. <laughs> How do you like them apples, baby? Suck it. You're going down. You're still alive. How many shots does it take to kill these guys? How many shots does it take to get to the center of the Tizzy Pop, guys? I don't think he ever really dies. There he is. He's gone. I do like how you can keep shooting him, though. That's kind of uh, morbid, but at the same time, kind of cool. So one experience points for killing those guys. 200 for doing a quest. I have a feeling that doing a quest is going to be by far the fastest for you to level level 25 requirements we can't do this one 25,000 experience points and 5,000 credits uh, volunteer listen I think we've got a problem we lost contact with one of our research groups the command is worried it considers this radio silence had been for too long considering the class of the equipment Z worked with as well as the remote location there are all reasons to believe that something bad had happened in there to cut to the chase i search for the smart and voiceless person who could go to champ or camp z13 to find out if they're okay nope not me uh that's not even an option apparently i would you know i don't know if i like the fact that you can't get the quest but i kind of not really that big of a deal like it would be kind of cool to be able to pick up the quest and hold on to it until we get ready for it but that would be a little cheating too because it means you could have a friend maybe go over there kill the creatures and then you uh, get the loot and finish off the quest that way oh yeah how do you like them apples buddy huh yeah you don't like that at all are you dead i think you are let's go ahead and kill you oh look at all that damage beautiful ah uh, here they come uh reload 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 come on you're wasting time you can get in there Oh, yeah, beautiful. Wow, 59% experience on that one. I guess because they're so much bigger. Or not percent, but just 59 experience points. Oh, yeah. Guys, reload. We got a few more left. Uh, look at the range on that. Oh, crap. 
Ooh, he's actually dodging it. Yeah, buddy. Ah, oh, come on, come on, you could do it. Get in there, get in there. Oh yeah, you got on my friend. Reload, reload. Oh, not another one. Ah, uh, you gotta kill these pretty fast. You can't just kinda sit over here and wait for them. Come on, come on, you can do it, reload. Oh crap, they're firing at me? What are they doing? Come on, reload, you can do it, you can do it. Oh yeah, all right, let's get in there. Let's get in there, ooh, a digger shell. Let's go ahead and pick those up. I know at some point we're gonna be using that. What do you got, little friend? Oh wow, okay, they're all coming for me. Oh no, come on, reload. Wow, okay, what do we got, anything? Reloading, just in case. Nothing over there, yeah, nothing over there. Wanna make sure we're not missing all of our loot. Now oh, we got some more loot right there. Woo, we completely massacred that guy. And one of his little friends. Oh wow, look at that crit, 59. Jeez, that's not too bad. Oh, come on. Seriously, you guys spawn way too quick. Not sure if we need to clear this area, <laughs> but I'm gonna do it anyways. Oh no, not more. Oh wow, he does shoot junk at you. Come on, come on. A little bit faster. Oh man, no, we got we got a guy already coming. And you? Come on, reload. Ooh, yes. One more shot. Ah, uh, you missed me, punk. Yeah, you missed me? Ah, uh, you didn't miss me that time, though. There you are. You are dead. Come on, come on, come on. Come on over. Come on over my house. Ooh, dodging it. Ah, uh, that's gonna be something in the future. I know it. That's gonna be something we gotta watch out for. Ah, oh, not you. Ah, oh, come on. They're spawning faster than I can kill them. Oh, no. Stop moving. Dang it. You're gonna have everybody respawn behind us before I even get to this. Are you dead? Yeah, you're dead. What about you, my little precious? Oh, no. Jeez. Come on. Get him away. Get him away. Oh, no. Did I... <laughs> I just, like, jumped off. I thought for sure I was going to be dead. We got to do something with this little area right here. Right? Can we do anything with it? Are we attacking it, maybe? I mean, I'm shooting at it, but I don't see it doing anything. Uh, we're taking some damage, guys. We got we to kill some of these guys off. Oh, no. Don't get trapped again in a corner. Nobody puts baby in a corner. Come on. Die. No. Leave me alone. Oh, my aim is sucky. I need a machine gun for something like this so we can just spray it, spray it down and kill everybody here. Oh, man, come on. You can do it. Oh, I'm just picking up more and more and more. This is like the worst way to run down this little way. Come on. No, 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 don't get stuck. Don't get stuck. I've done that before. That's not going to happen again. Oh, come on. Stop hitting me. I need my, my life to go back up. One more guy. Oh, you're dead. All right, let's go back over. Let's reload. Uh, he's fully reloaded, apparently. Going in for bear. We're going to see if we can get to that location and check it out without getting attacked here. Because I think we have to do something there. Obviously, killing these guys does absolutely nothing. They just respawn. What does this do? What is this? Hmm. Are we hurt? Are we? Do we do damage by killing the creatures? Yeah, I don't. I uh, don't exactly know. I think we can just kill creatures for a little bit. We are getting experience out of it. Probably should have waited for our life to go back up to full before. Oh man, so many. No, run, run. Oh crap! I'm. I'm. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die, guys. Come on, get off of me. There we go. Woo! No more, no more little areas like that. Get out of here. Oh yeah, we need a better, we need a better everything. No, no, you gotta stop jumping. 
Going down, going down. I don't see any big guys spawning yet. Ah, uh, there's one. Speak of them and they shall appear, apparently. Oh no. Come on, how many out rounds? Oh, we're gonna be really low on ammo here. So let's run away. Let's see if we can get some ammo while they're, uh, you know, licking their wounds there. No reloading, because we don't have uh, any need to do so, apparently. Actually, we do. Just doesn't want to do it while we're running. Come on, grab some ammo. There we go. Wow! It completely filled up on ammo. Very quickly. You are dead, my friend. Whew. Okay, guys. I think we're going to go ahead and end the episode here while I let my life go back up to full. I do want to thank you all again for watching. This has been an episode of Project uh, Genome. Action MMO RPG game developed and published by Neuron Haze. Release date is October 12, 2016. And remember, guys, we will be doing a Steam Key giveaway for uh, bronze upgrade so you have to have the original account you have to pay for the game itself but then you can upgrade and get the extra bronze pack for free leave comments down below i will be putting all your names in a hat drawing out a name every day for the next 12 days and you guys will all win something uh or hopefully as many of you guys who put one down that want one will win something as always i'm ac gamer and i will definitely catch you next time Hey guys, and welcome to the disembodied voice of AC Gamer. We are definitely going to be doing a lot more series in the future, but here are a few of them that you guys might find interesting. Of course, you're more than welcome to check them out. I would love to hear your comments. Again, if you do enjoy these videos, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe. It's definitely the indicator that I use to uh, tell if you guys want to see more videos like that of that particular game style of that uh, you know series in the long run so when you guys leave comments down it helps me decide whether we should keep doing it as well as whether you want to see games like that in the future and here are a few of them right here I kind of picked out uh, a few of different genres we will be doing spotlights for other youtubers in the future so if you uh, want to get a little shout out definitely let me know if you group with me uh, chances are you will get a shout out in here eventually. But for now, these are just uh, four series that I have that I feel like uh, could use a little bit more attention and that you guys might actually enjoy as well. Thanks again for watching, guys, and we will definitely catch you all next time.